Hello, this is Ferris Khan, and this is my uh, fourth video about my Bronco. And actually, I recorded another version of this video earlier today. I did have some technical difficulties, but I would have re recorded it, except I found out that not only did my Bronco get built, it got delivered to the dealer, and I was able to visit the dealer. So um, lots to report today. Uh, I, I said I was going to follow up when the vehicle was in. I will go ahead and do that now and happy to share. Uh, this is the build that I have uh, with what I call a hat, that upside down canoe on top. It's got a roof rack. It's got switches. And it really has nothing else, no other options. Uh, the total price for me was $30,555 with the delivery charge uh, included. Um, this is what it looked like earlier when I first uh, you know, created this PowerPoint page. And I think this was yesterday. And it said the order was confirmed on 317 and it was in production on uh, 712, uh, uh, July 12th. Um, I've been in limbo ever since, so the last eight days have been kind of just in this status. Um, I, I was able to get to a window sticker, so you, you see the window sticker uh, confirming that it's um, $30,555 with just the two options. Uh, my MPG, I'll just make a little note about it, uh, doesn't look thrilling or, or awesome, perhaps, but for a Bronco, it's, it's as, high as, you, as high as you're going to get, 21 miles per gallon. It has the four-cylinder engine with the base model, and it's lighter. Maybe, uh, perhaps, uh, I can kind of exceed uh, this number um, just because of the vehicle uh, weight, uh, smaller tires, et cetera. All right. Um, one of the questions that I got was about the steel wheels. And uh, actually, when I went on my 5K uh, run the other day, I did see some steel wheels on a Ranger. Just wanted to kind of point out how big those uh, wheel wells are. I'm going to show you mine in, in a couple minutes uh, as well. Uh, when you look at trucks, really, uh, just sort of across the board, you're going to see pretty large wheel wells. So the idea that every Bronco has to have a Sasquatch, at least in my mind, uh, it's great that, you know, Sasquatch is great, but I think um, it's okay if you don't have one and it's okay if you have steel wheels. So uh, uh, that's, that's uh, my opinion. Um, I did some analysis. I'm going to get to this in a future video, but I'm just going to give you a little teaser that I did some analysis of, of what is, instead, instead of the two door, if I had gotten a four door, what, what would be kind of some of the considerations uh, that I would have. And uh, just uh, to sort of cut to the chase scene, uh, it's difficult. If you have a four door, it's really difficult to try to figure out and figure out um, what's more important. Is it more important for you to have a manual transmission or is it more important for you to have maybe upgraded wheels and sort of that, that the difference between a big bend and the base gets a little bit more uh, blurry or cloudy when you start uh, to think things through with the four door because the four door does not have a manual transmission uh, for the base. So I'll get to more details about that later. Let's actually go straight into, I'm gonna go ahead and share, give me a second here. I am going to share some photos. Um, I was able to go to the dealership today and uh, I'm just gonna show, share some photo galleries. You'll see some other uh, Broncos that got delivered sort of right next to it. So you can kind of see some size differences. The one right next to me had a um, Sasquatch. This is the one that I ordered uh, without, uh, you know, with the, with the 30 inch wheels versus 35. Uh, there's a huge difference there, but the actual Bronco itself, even with the smaller wheels, is a pretty large car. So don't think of this as, as, as a small car, even a, um, uh, the size of a Bronco Sport. It's, it is pretty big. So um, front view, let me give you a couple more pictures. Uh, side view, I have a short video. I'm gonna show you that as well. Um, I kind of zoomed in over here and you can kind of see good roof. So that's good. <laughs> so, uh, um, uh, I saw on the Bronco 6G forum, there were a bunch of these that had bad roof on them. Uh, fortunately, I, I, got, I got a good roof. 
Uh, I will look through the roof in detail. I'll also do some video uh, about it uh, as well. Here is the actual window sticker. It exactly matches uh, what, what was posted online. Another picture from the other angle. Let's just go ahead and, uh, you know, I did, I, I did a quick uh, jump in the car thing. Uh, you can actually also see um, the interior. Actually, when I first went in the vehicle, it wasn't even prepped. So it was kind of still in sort of factory mode, so to speak. So uh, I was able to drive it, but um, they're going to have to do a few things to it uh, before everything's quote unquote all set up uh, for me. Here's a picture of the shifter. I did get to use this and it, and it was fun. It was great. Uh, one thing that uh, caught me off guard at first, I, I'm coming from a Mustang manual transmission. It's slightly different does have that collar just like the Mustang does. Um, at first, it's a little confusing that you, you know, don't worry about the collar, just push it to the left and push it all the way up. That's first gear. And you've got six gears to work with. Um, Mustang is similar, but but uh, uh, there's two actual gears. There's the uh, reverse with that collar that you have to pull up. And then there's also the crawler gear or the granny gear as well that you have to do that for. I tried doing the granny gear I think I need a little bit more practice with it. And also probably I need to be on, you know, off-road uh, for it. Uh, it's really meant for one mile an hour, two mile an hour, not, not much more than that. All right, uh, here's a picture of, of me um, at uh, Military and uh, um, Michigan Avenue. So right in the middle of Dearborn. So that was kind of fun to drive. I, I believe I had less than 10 miles on it originally. I might've, noted that here. Let me see if I can find that. This 10 second video, perhaps it's there. Uh, there it is, 12 miles. So uh, I, I basically doubled the mileage uh, from uh, what you see in this video. Um, so that was fun. <laughs> All right. Did a quick selfie, but also wanted to kind of show you that uh, this car has not been prepped yet. So I was very fort fortunate that the dealer let me take it out for a quick spin before it got prepped. Uh, so you see the plastic on the seats. All right. A couple more pictures. I was able to kind of park it at kind of a one and a half spots. I, I kind of took up so I could uh, uh, get the sun on it. And I wanted to kind of show you how close to black it is versus blue. It is clearly a blue vehicle when, when it's in the sun. How much does Michigan get sun? Okay, that's debatable, but, but at least in the sun, it is definitely a blue vehicle. All right, you can see from the front uh, and from the side as well. Uh, let me see, I thought I had one other video that I might be able to quickly show you of a walk around. All right, uh, I think I'll, I'll think I'll end it there. I, I can show the video a, a little bit later uh, or another um, another one of these videos. I also wanted to uh, share kind of what my status was um, from a uh, PowerPoint perspective. I'm gonna kind of jump back into PowerPoint. Uh, let me do that and I'm gonna show you one other thing. All right, and that is uh, my entire sort of the process of of how far you know how far along have, have I gotten and what what did where did I start how many days did it take? Um, I am picking up the vehicle tomorrow, so some of these dates have changed slightly. I produced this uh, for a video that I was recording earlier today, uh, and then the dates kind of changed changed on me. Um, so uh, I made the reservation on July 14th, 2020. It was $100 uh, refundable. The order was confirmed on March 17th. I was given an initial schedule um, on April 22nd that it would be built on the week of June 21st. That schedule was then changed on May 15th. And I was told that, it, no, it's not gonna be June 21st, week of, it's going to be week of July 5th. And then um, on June 24th, I asked my dealer uh, via email and my dealer uh, got back to me in a couple of days and told me very specifically that the vehicle would be built on July 12th. So if you kind of look at it that way, it was 246 days from the reservation to the order confirmation. It was 36 days from 
the order confirmation to a VIN, which I look at sort of as the fingerprint of the car, you know, a very specific build. Everybody understands this is going to happen. This vehicle is going to be built. This is specifically how it's configured. And then um, it took 86 days from getting the VIN to the actual vehicle. Now, I was assuming July 12th, it actually got built on July 19th. Uh, so it's another seven days on top of that. And uh, you see 122 days since the order got locked in, another seven days on top of that. So 129 uh, days, uh, technically. All right. Um, okay, so uh, let me just stop there. And uh, I'm going to now go into, and uh, thank you for letting me kind of share different things here. But uh, the next thing I'm going to share is uh, my order status. Let's see if I can do that. And uh, this is what it looked like as of uh, this morning. Well, this morning it it didn't even show, um, uh, or it did show built. So so I did kind of a refresh for an earlier video that I recorded today, which I published, but then I took down when I realized that the vehicle's already in, uh, and I have more interesting things to talk about. Um, this is what it showed earlier today. Let's see if it actually says that it shipped. I'm going to refresh the screen. I just kept it open all day. And wow. Okay. All right. So it not only said it was built, it said it was shipped and it said, um, uh, or, uh, the shipping is an estimated three days. It actually took about three hours from the beginning of the day. You know, it was before noon that, that it came in, um, it says delivery estimated 721. Uh, so just one day after it's being built, uh, it, it, it would be delivered is what they're saying. Um, so it actually technically is going to be 722. All right. Um, here's the window sticker. I've already shown you that. Um, let me just actually just at a high level also kind of talk about uh, some of the thoughts I have of the base versus the big bend. Uh, I did know I was going to make some compromises, but I figured this is sort of like a Lego set. There's an opportunity to uh, upgrade it over time. Uh, the one difference between the two, between the base and the big bend, is the 30 inch tower tire uh, with steel wheels versus the 32 inch um, uh, tire on uh, slightly larger aluminum wheels. So, um, yeah, there's there's some preferences one way or another. I happen to really like steel wheels. As I mentioned earlier, I like, you know, I don't mind the big wheel well. When you see my vehicle next to a Sasquatch that has a 35 inch wheel, yes, there's a dramatic difference. But between a 30 and a 32, you can tell the difference, but it's, it's more of kind of a, maybe a personal preference kind of thing. The other big difference is the leather wrap steering wheel and the gear shift knob. So, um, you know, uh, value that how you, how you may. Uh, yes, yeah, so I am giving that up. And it looks like there is a privacy glass that I'm also uh, giving up. I'm having, uh, I'm also giving up the ability to, to get the mid package, which, which gives a whole bunch of other uh, features. But if I wasn't, um, you know, if I'm looking for the base, if I'm just looking for uh, a pallet, clean pallet or clean uh, sheet to kind of work with, I'm satisfied with the base. Um, and when I saw it in person, I was even more satisfied. So, so I'm very happy uh, with respect with, to what I did. Uh, tomorrow, I'm going to pick up the vehicle. I'll record another video um, after I do that. I hope to actually go to Ford World, World Headquarters and maybe park the vehicle right in the parking lot there and see if I can uh, um, do that. Uh, you know, maybe uh, they'll allow me to do that. We'll see. So <laughs> anyway, um, thanks for uh, letting me share my Bronco with you. If you have any questions, please let me know about the color. Um, uh, I will, uh, one thing I will uh, focus in on tomorrow is talk a little bit about that hard top because I know a lot of you, uh, the molded in color top, I should say, uh, a lot of you um, are concerned about that. So I'll show you exactly what I have. I will try, I'm not going to take the doors off, uh, but I will try to take uh, the roof panels off after I get it. So look forward to the second video uh, of, of, uh, of getting the vehicle. So I uh, hope to talk to you tomorrow about that. Thank you.